Hello, people of the internet. This is Joven for the Win, bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 commentary and gameplay. And this is a short little gameplay that actually is actually my second gameplay ever. I know that I just uploaded a video like five seconds ago of my live commentary, my first gameplay ever. But I learned a lot in this game, even though it's really short and it gets cut off by connection. I learned a lot in this game. And the first thing is, you saw back there that I threw the tomahawk across the map. I'm hoping to get one of those by the end of the day. And then also, the tactical insertion. The tactical insertion is, um, it's, it's extremely fast. Boom. It's down. It's down. And it doesn't, it's somewhat noticeable. Like, it's kind of a little bit too much noticeable, but I guess it'll work. People won't notice for a while. Um, so, tactical insertion, I'm really happy about that. That's really fast. I was, that was one thing I was really worried about in uh, Black Ops 2. And also, you can use that with, um, any, um, you can use that in replacement of any tactical stuff so I really don't need any tactical stuff so I'm really happy about that that is really cool that is wonderful but the bad thing the one bad thing I've noticed so far is the tactical insertion is not unlocked until level 47 out of 55 levels which thoroughly pisses me off and I'm very disappointed in that um, so I'm not sure do you guys know if you can bring back something from a prestige like you could in MW3 if so Please let me know cuz then I'd be very happy. I did a panic knife there panic knifing is just as good as it started Just as it was before basically um, But I got on a nice little streak here and uh, dual mag is back. I mean you guys probably already knew this but Another thing that I've noticed is the semtex is so much more naggier than MW3 It's it's back to black ops semtex, which is wonderful black ops semtex was freaking awesome It was so nagging the nagging of the semtex in black ops. It was Like ten times the magnitude of naggingness than black or er, than MW3 now It's back to the same magnitude of naggingness and I think it's still color-coded I have not confirmed that but I'm gonna assume because of black ops um but Black Ops, the other time around, it was color-coded, friendly was green, enemy was red. I have not gotten stuck by a Semtex yet, and that's very exciting, because in Black Ops, when you got stuck by a Semtex, it, the thing popped up on the screen, suck, 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 blah, 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 and then it nagged you to hell. It was awesome. And then connection interrupted here. This always happens, like, on the first day of Call of Duty comes out, and I'm sure it'll be really sketchy like that for the rest of ever probably but whatever i don't care hope you guys enjoyed i'm really enjoying black ops 2 so far more videos to come bye